Today, I'm going to attempt to make some real bed by turning this into this and hopefully save some money along the way. Hello, YouTubes. Welcome back to Scott Reels. I'm Dave. I wanted to start laying some real bed down onto my layout before I start laying track. Now, you can buy the Woodland Scenics Foam Real Bed. In Canada, it costs approximately $30 on Amazon for 24 feet. I need 80 feet just to do a whole loop round the U-shape and back 80 feet. That would require four packs at 24 feet, which is 120 doleros. That's way too much money. I knew there had to be a cheaper option and hopefully I have found the solution. This is a five sheet pack of cork sheet underlayment. It is quarter inch thick or six millimeters if you're Canadian. As I say, five sheets, two feet by three feet. And by my calculations, one sheet of this will do 40 feet of track. So two sheets would do 80 feet, which is more than enough to do the entire loop. Start over there, back again, which leaves me three sheets to do all the other uh, sidings and I was going to do a, a terminal, a point-to-point -point track as well. So I've got plenty of this. This whole pack of five cost me $50, which is awesome considering how much it would have cost. You could easily have doubled that amount for the Woodland Scenics, so over $200 to do what I'm planning on doing. But the question is, is it going to work? I've got a horrible feeling that when I cut this and start sanding down the edges to make it slightly angled, then it's going to crumble. So let's start by cutting the strips to the right size. I'm going to go for one and a half inches. Measure one and a half inches to there. And the same at the far end. For a draw line, let's put some track on just to make sure we've not gone too skinny because you, you're going to lose a bit of the, the top when you sand it down. No, that'll be fine. Right, let's cut this. Now, well, let's, let's continue this line across so we know where we're cutting. Doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to be sanding it anyway. Okay, it's cork, so it's relatively easy to cut, although it is quarter inch thick. Now, you could use one of these. Everyone's got these little blades, but there's a bit of uh, there's a bit of flex in that blade. I would prefer to use something a bit more meaty, like one of these. So we'll give this a shot. I'm not even going to use the ruler for this. I'm just going to follow this line. Hopefully I've got through in one go. Yes, I have. Yeah, reasonably straight. So now, obviously, I'm going to have to taper either side. And this is the moment of truth. Will it crumble or will it go smooth? I'm using some 120 grit on one of these handy little $2 pad things. Just to make it a wee, a wee bit more... What's the word? regulated. Yeah, let's try that. I could actually clamp this down, then I don't have to use another hand to hold it all the time, but uh, just for talking sake, let's give it a go here. You know the thing about sanding it down, you get to choose the angle you want, if you want it a straight or if you want it kind of rounded. I don't actually know what it looks like in real life, so I'm just going to I'm just going to do whatever. That's looking pretty good and it's not crumbling. That's a bonus. 
So I think what I'll do is I'll get the angle I want and then I'll just round the top section a little bit. Not bad at all. So obviously I need to continue all the way up there, turn it over and do the other side. Back in a gif. straightforward and easy and it would be even easier if you had an electric sander and you could just go done and dusted anyway how does it look with track on and up close I'm not sure if that's wide enough I don't know before I do any more I'm going to look up what everyone else is doing although it kind of looks good to me and once you get balanced on it it will bring it out a little bit more as well. So I actually think this is perfect. I think I'm going to go one and a half inches. I'm going to taper these all the way down to the ground though. I don't like how there's a slight raised section just at the bottom. Although it probably doesn't matter once you get ballast down. Overall, really happy with that. Really easy to do and really cheap. Now the main difference between this homemade stuff and the store-bought stuff is for example, Woodland Scenics, this actually comes in two strips out the pack. You would tear it apart, flip it over, join it on. I know that seems weird, but it's so that you can do bends. This is not going to be very flexible for doing bends. And that's why you need the two strips. Unless, of course, you've got a sheet like this that you can just cut out your curves. And then you don't have that annoying split in the middle, having to line it up and glue it together. So again, thumbs up for this stuff. Better, cheaper, really can't complain. So as I say, I got this in Lowe's, looks like that. Probably get it in Home Depot and Home Hardware. $50 Canadian, probably about $30 US, which is just peanuts, considering how much extra it would be for pre-shaped and cut stuff. And it's not a lot of work, especially if you've got a hand, uh, an electric sander. So. So there you go, there's your top tip for today. I need to get back into actually building a track layout here. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. Right, next top tip video will be on cutting risers and inclines to the right size if you have only got like scraps left and you need to make a different incline. I'm going to be using an electric wire, hot wire gun, hot wire, hot wire tool. It's a wee wire that heats hot. You'll see when we get to that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope that helped and saved you some money. Till the next time. Bye for now.